Oh my god. Hello guys. Uh, why didn't why didn't you tell me the the camera was recording? I'm sorry. I was just reading a really super book. And hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And today we are checking out Superman 2, the second Superman movie. This one was very, very, very highly requested after the first one. I was pretty sure I was gonna watch Superman 2, but I wasn't like a hundred percent sure. So I asked in my reaction if I if I should watch Superman 2, and there was a resounding yes. I'll be watching the theatrical cut today, not the director's cut. I was debating about it for a bit, but I decided the theatrical cut just because that is the version of Superman that you guys would have gotten in the theaters after the first Superman film. So I decided that that is the type, that is the path I should go down as well. I should watch Superman and then follow it up how you guys would have followed it up all the way back in 1981. So that is what I'm doing. Now this doesn't mean that I'm not going to watch the director's cut. Uh, that is still kind of on the table. I, I will probably watch the director's cut at some point, but whether that'll be on the channel or on my own time is kind of up in the air at the moment but uh, the director's cut does sound very interesting I just thought that the Superman 2 that the actual theatrical cut would make for a better reaction as well I'm really excited for this movie though everyone keeps saying that it's kind of a part two of the story like the first story is kind of a little incomplete and so that kind of this really ties in but at the same time I'm also uh, very curious about this movie because Richard Donner of course as all the comments have told me Richard Donner left this film with about halfway through and then someone called uh, Richard Lester or something like that came in and he reshot a bunch of stuff so he could have credit as sole director of this movie or just directing credit for this movie and he turned it more into a comedy so I'm very curious about how this movie is going to play out with Richard Donner leaving because I think Richard Donner is an excellent director and yeah I'm just I'm just very curious to see how it plays out we also get Zod back I'm really excited for Zod I was kind of confused why they had him at the start of the first movie and then they they just left him like I was kind of expecting him to come back in the first movie but it seems like he comes back in this one so I'm very excited to see Zod and yeah before we get into this reaction let me do the lighting so let me turn on the light and decide what color it should be Boop. nice 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 okay so I am gonna go blue for the lighting today this Superman is way more blue on the poster and as well I went red for the last one and so I think blue for his actual blue spandex I think I'm gonna go go blue lighting to represent his blue spandex in this one and if you'd like to check out more of my reactions you can head over to my patreon i have uncut reactions to many of the movies i watch on youtube as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early there are also two exclusive patreon movies a month that you guys on patreon get to choose so thank you so so much if you check it out now let's get back to the video okay i am too excited to hopefully watch this super movie that was two amazing puns that i just did yeah i know i know i'm the best comedian of all time anyways let's just get into it i hope you enjoy my reaction to superman 2 this video is sponsored by Gamsco. Stick around until the end of the reaction to learn how to get Netflix and other streaming services for cheap. I really hope we get John Williams scores as well. Ah, uh, I love it. We're getting this beautiful space opening again. Oh, neck broken, son. Who is this guy? Ah, uh, this guy's Zod, okay, so they must have escaped the uh, mirror dimension then, right? Wait, no, that's not true, because Krypton exploded when they were in the mirror dimension. Guilty. Guilty. That's rough, buddy. Where's Marlon Brando? Bring Brando back. Gene Hackman is back? He was Lex Luthor, right? Christopher Reeve, let's go! Best Superman already. Oh yes, we got the music, guys! Oh my god, the music is so exciting. It's exploding sun in the background. Perfection. Okay, so no John Williams for this movie. Oh, Mario Puzo again? Okay, okay. We got the Godfather here again. Uh, bye, Alice. <laughs> That's amazing. Yep. Morning, Louis. I'll check it. How's it? Okay, guys, notice him. Come on, please. Don't you watch television? Oh, well, actually, I don't really enjoy television, Mr. White. There's too much violence. I was just reading Dickens. Mr. Kent, a gang of terrorists sees the... <laughs> I love him. I love him. I love him. These guys claim that if the French government doesn't meet their demands, they've got a hydrogen bomb ready to level Paris. 
Whoa. If Paris is going to go gablooey, I want my best reporter right in the middle of it. But gee, Mr. White, I no offense, Kent, you're good, but Lois Lane. If Paris is gonna, if Paris is gonna get bombed, I want her there. Come on, Superman. Let's see some superpowers. Ah, I love it. So oh, that was a really cool transition. I actually really like that. We have the proper equipment. This no. could blow up all of Paris. Wait. What is the position of your government? Will they make their demand? He's like, yeah, I don't care about Paris that much. <laughs> he, he's that is so casual. Yes. D is D. Ah. I love Lois so much. I have climbed those stairs before. So many stairs. You could do it, Lois. You could do it. Her cardio is on point, let me tell you. Are these guys going to be released off of the edge? Is that where they're going to be released? Pulitzer Prize. This is not worth it, Lois. What did you think was going to happen? You were underneath the elevator. Nobel Prize. Capital N. Lois, your brain doesn't have a Nobel Prize. This was a dumb idea. It's still in there? Yes, we think so. Oh, no, you can't pass the club. Wait, wait. Snipe them. Just boom. Scope them on the top. Are they going to destroy the Eiffel Tower? Sir, we've been watching them all the time. Eiffel Tower in sight. Oh. Oh, oh, Lois. Oh, that's not good, Lois. God. So now there's 60 seconds. The hydro bomb's gonna go off in 60 seconds, and Lois is at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, that's sick. That was a sick shot. A bomb! There's a bomb up there. They've got I a know. bomb. Come on, Superman. Come on, Superman. That looks really cool. Oh my god, what the heck? Good work, Superman! Good work! That was pretty cool. What is this? The shockwaves are gonna break them free? Okay, it actually looks really cool though. I was like, I looked like 2D animation, like someone was just drawing on it. It was, that was really cool looking. Clark! You ever heard of Clark? <laughs> Clark, you menace to society, you. I love that he still pretends with Lois, you know, he still has the act. A note of jealousy in that voice? Jealousy? Oh no, no, not me. <laughs> Doesn't she know that Superman is Superman? That Clark is Superman? And vitamin C every day. He's staying in perfect health. Oh my god, a thousand? That's, that's uh, certainly a lot of- Yeah, but I think the thousand milligrams are voided by the fact that you smoke. I feel like that, it just evens out to death again. Oh, let's see. Put the orange in there. That's really very clever. Oh, his thumb got smushed. You do? Mm -hmm. I mean, what else are friends for? Oh, Lois, get out of here, son. Get out of here. Oh, bring back Luther. Bring back Luther. And Otis. And Otis. He just flies off. Where? North. Why? Yeah, what's north? Every man has his vulnerable point. Some, like you, Otis, have more than one. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Otis. That felt like an ad break. Was, that felt like an advertisement break. I'm telling Artemis too. Come in. Morning, Houston. Oh, hold on, mate. Yo. What the heck? There's people on the moon right now. Well, it's mighty pretty out there. Mighty. <laughs> There's a flying man. That'd be so strange to see. Good try, man. Oh no.
The wire work for the zero gravity is really good. Oh no! Oh no! That guy's just gonna be floating off into space forever, poor man. Is he just sitting on that like he's sitting on a lawn chair at a family dinner? Well, we've lost contact. So? Well, we really. So? So if you lose contact, you should be scrambling. Unlimited powers. They come from there. A place called Houston. <laughs> Houston. 384 out. Uh, 385 out. 383 did not turn this out, guys. You guys are about 10 seconds away from solitary, you know that? Something's not right, something's not right. Oh my days, I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> Why do you have to do that? I would also do that though. I am my test What the heck? And she's with them still too, on a balloon. What an escape. He just, I love it. I mean, this would be an easy way, right? No, you're leaving Otis. You're leaving Otis. You can't leave him. He's your best, your best guy. Why is it doing like ad cuts? That is so strange to me. Why it's doing like the little fade outs? It's like they couldn't figure out a way to transition the scenes, so they're just like, okay, ad advertisement time. Well, here you are. Uh -huh. Well, sure. Wow, pink. that is. A big oh, place. Bags, he just threw the bags on the ground. Scent they can get. That's what Mr. White says. Yeah. Oh, on the other hand, this is kind of nice, Lois. So. Yeah, 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 it is, it is, it is. Uh, Lois would. Uh. No. Aww, man. I, it's so awkward. I love him. She you look, you look very pretty. Thank you, Clark. Yeah, she does. Say he looks handsome. Come on, Lois. Mr. Smith? Uh huh. The complimentary couch. Right. Gosh, it's alive. <laughs> it's alive. Why does he have to? Why does he have to sleep on the couch? If the bed's big enough for two people, you can put pillows in the middle if you really don't want to sleep next to them. Lex, how could you do that to Otis? What else is ballast for? Why is that balloon so blue? Well, Lois? Yep. Look, everybody's holding hands. Or maybe, maybe we should hold hands too, huh? Ah, uh, Clark. Ah, uh, Lois. I hear. Uh, Don't say I never did it. Thank you. I was about to say, she's definitely going to recognize the face. It's amazing what glasses and a change in personality can do. You are standing in front of one of nature's most awesome spectacles and you're thinking about food. I mean, aren't you impressed? Hey, you know what? Food is always on my mind. Freshly, Freshly squeezed. squeezed. I know, okay. Lois, Lois, Clark likes you so much. What is this kid doing and where are his parents? Honestly, the kid deserves to fall. Honestly, the kid deserves to fall. <laughs> that was so dumb. Da -da -da -da, Clark Kent, let's go, boys. Isn't it a little suspicious that Clark isn't there, Lois? Just say it. There you go. Again, again. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Superman, okay. Chucks him. And Clark? Come on, Lois. Hmm. Okay. She's pieced it. She's pieced it. Nah, that was so awesome. That was so awesome, that cut. Clark! No orange juice? Yeah, okay, these cuts are so weird to me. I, I don't know. They, they're just so weird. It feels like this was a made-for-TV movie with these cuts. It's Superman's home. Oh, good. More ice. Uh, that was where he flew off. Such an epic moment in the first movie. This place is genius. Genius. <laughs> I love her just whispering whatever he says. Earth culture, section B. Trees by Joyce huh. Kilmer. Oh, the one that's just his mouth. There appeared among us three rebel elements. What you would call on Earth, criminals. Yeah. Zod, 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 Zod. Just might. Be cracked by a nuclear explosion in space. 
That's so specific, and I love that it happened. What's an evil? Wait, that explains the three alpha waves I've been getting on my black box. Mmm, yeah, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Um, tell you what, I'll, I'll meet you back at the hotel. What's your hurry, Superman? Ah, uh, she said it! I'm so sure that you're Superman that I'm willing to bet my life on it. Really? She's gonna jump into the water? I was about to say she's in a very precarious position. Boy, you certainly have some imagination, Lois. <laughs> For a minute there, you almost had me convinced. For a minute. She's about to just bloop! <laughs> Lois, this is not the greatest decision of your life. Turn into Superman, you big doofus! He uses laser vision! He uses laser vision! Clark really trying to keep this a secret. He's like, I don't care if Lois Lane dies. I'm not telling her. Sorry. This is really embarrassing. You should be embarrassed, Lois. That was so drastic. She really went from zero to a thousand in one second. Three musketeers descending from heaven. A primitive sort of life form. Oh. Yeah. Don't call a snake primitive. Okay. You did not need to do that. That was a little bit extravagant. <laughs> oh, you could do it. You could do it. Oh, man. God, not only have I lost my mind, I've lost my comb. Nah, Clark two horrible things. The comb probably worse than the mind. No, no, don't, 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 okay. Clark, let me no, see your hand. No, Give it to me. No, no, it's alright. Let me no, look no. at it. It's fine. It's totally fine. You are Superman. Oh, Lois, come on, don't be. <laughs> that was so awkward. Is he gonna whip the glasses off? Yes, I am. That's my Superman impression. Sorry. Well, you don't have anything to be sorry about. Ah, let's go. It's so good the way he changes his whole persona. I'm in love with you. Ah, okay, but you weren't in love with Clark Kent. You said you were just friends. Now that you know, I think you should know it all. Yes. Is, she, is he gonna go to the castle? I don't know. From the look of him, I'll bet ten dollars are from Los Angeles. That's actually a good guess. That is a very good guess. That's pretty close to Krypton. Did I hear right? That son of a bitch give me an order. This guy is, looks like the guy from uh, James Bond, the sheriff in James Bond that I didn't like. Oh, oh drop it. Oh. oh, he's making it levitate towards him as well. <sighs> this poor guy. No, he likes to light. Keep it as like your pet. Ooh, I can watch Lois and Superman fly with this music all day long. He's getting better. I'm so proud of him. Let's just hold hands. Mm. I can't wait for him to get destroyed. I know if this tingles. Is that you, Boog? Oh, please don't hurt this guy. Yeah, just leave. What the heck is his power? Oh, it's like levitation. No, don't do this. Don't drop him. Oh my god, he's still alive. I thought he was just splat like everywhere. That's what I thought was going to happen. I found this crystal. Huh? Uh... See how it's green? That's the only thing that's cool about it. Like it? It's incredible. I mean, uh... The background music sounds like whale sounds. Those flowers would not survive the flight though, you know? The wind would be in his face, the flowers is just getting destroyed by the wind. Great. Lois. Lois, he trusted you with the green crystal of destiny. And you just left it on the floor. Throw down your arms and surrender. That is the tiniest little car I've ever seen. It's a little toy car. Oh. Oh. Wow, that was awesome. Not a great place for a ramp, but that was awesome. Where's Superman? 
Hey, where is he? Why doesn't he do something? General Smithson. He doesn't have to do anything, guys. Calm your beans. They need machines to fly. Thank you, Captain. What bravery? Why are they going ha ha ha? They couldn't fly on their own planet, so let's calm down. Oh, that was a good explosion. That was a very good explosion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you know, if it weren't for him, I never would have met you. Aw. I love these close-ups of the characters. Ah, uh, yes. Hold hands, hold hands, hold hands. I'm going to go change into something more comfortable. Oh. Okay. Your general wishes to speak. I am General Zod. Hi, Zod. You must live as a mortal. What? You must become one of them. What? Now why? 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 Once exposed to these rays, all your great powers on Earth will disappear. Literally not worth it. Not worth it. Powers or girl? I mean, girl is good, but powers? Powers. Mother? I love her. Oh my god, he's gonna do this for her. Oh my god, he's actually getting ordinary. Now he's just ordinary man. Oh my god, they basically are stripping away his super suit for an ordinary suit. Just say you love me. <laughs> She's like, I don't. The only reason I loved you was that I got to fly. Oh, that's a really good flying shot. That one is beautiful. Over. <laughs> Zod's conquering the world and over here Superman's just having the time of his night. The time of his night? The night of his life. He got a cylinder tossed at him and then a chandelier. That is the most unlucky man I think I've ever seen in my life. Hello there. General Kenobi. <laughs> no. Kneel before Zod. Don't kneel. If you kneel, then you're a pansy. Could possibly kneel so quickly. I'm the man they're protecting. Ah, yes. Okay. He was the fake president. And a Coke. And order of fries. And a side salad. That's so much food. It is now, sweetheart. I'll buy you something. But Superman, he's not going to be able to win the fights anymore. On the flame, Ron. This is just a minute stake. After you. How do you look at Christopher Reeve and not be a little intimidating? He's tall and buff. Okay. Okay, that's cheating. That's cheating. Everyone in the, the, the room attack him. I know that, Lois. But I wish you were here. He's not gone just because you don't have powers. Okay, everybody, he's all right. Just relax and we'll have some fresh coffee. Everyone is already so relaxed. And control over this planet. To General Zod. Ah. Defy you. Come. Come and kneel before Zod. Oh, man. The music right there was really good, too. Listen. Ooh. I love that shot of him looking up, like bloody face. You never see Superman with blood on him. Such a, what a sight. The man has literally gone on an expedition as an ordinary man, may I add, all the way to like the North Pole with no bags or anything and a thin coat. <clears throat> I, uh, I failed. No, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't. Oh, oh, the crystal that Lois left on the ground. Oh, she's actually a genius. I'm sorry for ever doubting you, Lois. I got some chills. It looks so cool and the music is good. Oh, yes. Bring in Luther. Bring in Luther. What I am bargaining with is what you do not have. Oh. The son of jor -El. A bald man. A bald man on their team. Revenge! Revenge! Okay, now we're cooking, huh? 
Hey, so, guys, then. Luther, you, you no. Wait. First, you must find him. And Lex Bay. Yeah, like where were they going? They would have just walked out and been like, "Well, I don't really know where he is, so let's just go back inside." That's for sure, Chief. We just haven't figured it out, right, Miss Lane? He'll be here. Ah, uh, he will be here in his super suit. I haven't heard about it yet, Chief. Oh, boys. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. I thought it was going to be Superman, but it turns out not to be Superman. My excitement levels have dropped. Oh, man. Wow, he really karate chopped that desk in half. Superman must be. Yeah, and you could use the tuck here and there yourself, sister. Wait! Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. She lives for now. Yeah, <laughs> you just got another concussion. The, the, the oval room, we had a few laughs, right? Wait, no, that's not real. That cut cannot be real. What is, is this a weird version of the movie? What was that cut? He was literally in the middle of talking and it cut. Okay, I'm gonna forget about it because Superman's here and it's awesome. Get him! Come to me, son of jor -El. Kneel before Zod! Kneel before. <laughs> that was so dramatic. I'm not a coward, Zod. Let him prove it. Oh, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Use your laser vision, Superman. Ooh, that's cool. Hello, Superman. Oh, get punched into a building. Oh my god, he's going super speed. Oh my god, he did a little Irish kick. Bam! Bada 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 boom! Oh. I knew someone was gonna make a baseball joke. They had, they had to. Yeah, whenever the music kicks in, it's like, oh, so good. Oh, wow, these explosions are really cool. How long does this laser take? Oh, blow up yourself, loser Zod. What? When has he been able to freeze things? When has he been able to freeze things? <laughs> well, that's Superman. Oh! Oh! Super. Frisbee! Oh! Right in the stomach! <laughs> this fight is sponsored by Kentucky Fried Chicken. And cigarettes. Oh! Good toss! Right into the Coca-Cola side. Nice. Well done, well done. That was so awesome. And this sign looks better now, too. He's dead. He's dead. Superman is dead. Superman is not dead. No way. Let's go get him. Yeah, I know some judo. Come on, let's go. I know some judo. Is that what he, the guy just said? Oh, the guy's ice cream. That's the saddest thing that's happened tonight. It's actually really cool. I wonder how they filmed that. Whoa, that car is upside down. What the heck? The man on rollerblades. Oh my god, he must be having the time of his life. Ooh, oh, so many cool things. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. All the cars flying around. I wonder how they did that. But where's he going? Lex Luthor. Extinguish the greatest criminal flame of our age. <laughs> I love it whenever he talks. So much for these earth creatures. Yeah, bring Let some. Let us take his favorite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good idea. That's actually a good idea. Okay, am I actually watching like a weirdly edited version? These advertisement cut looking things, just like no way an actual movie would have so many of them, right? Right? Like no way. Sentimental replica of a planet long since vanished. Yeah, yeah. No style at all. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Oh, what a shot. What is that? What? He has like a giant tape thing. Guys, just don't aim for his hand. Literally aim somewhere else and he won't be able to block it. Ooh. Oh, get kicked. Get kicked into the abyss. What? What? 
what? Oh, that was a fake. Superman, I knew that you'd... Huh? I still want to decide. Oh my gosh, he finally made it. Destroy this place. Hi, guys. Uh, sorry, I'm... We have no more use for this one. Kill him. No, not Luther. Not Luthor. Hmm. Try to get them all into this molecule chamber. Huh? Ah! Big brain, big brain Superman. Lex Luthor, ruler of Australia. Activate the machine. Ah, uh, he got Australia. Good for him. No, he's not gonna lose his powers. No, this is... Superman is playing mind games right now. Watch the whole outside of the chamber be the, be the thing. And inside you're safe. That wasn't... He's still in a Superman suit too. What happened? Does he have more powers? No, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? This can't... No. Ah! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Superman! 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 Oh! Into the abyss with you! Yes, okay, I was right, I was right, the chamber, he changed the chamber around or something. Hey, you know something? You're a real pain in the neck. Bah! Nice, Lois. <sighs> Are you alright? Imagine if it made ordinary people like Lois and Luther, like, even more ordinary, you know what I mean? I know, Lois. I know. Ah, uh, he knows. Ah, the look back. Ah, to infinity and beyond. Wait, no, it's ending kind of sadly, though. How would you sleep, all right? Doesn't look like she slept all right. When it comes to you, I am selfish. And I'm jealous of the whole world. That's a lot of people to be jealous of. Don't tell me that I'll meet somebody. You're kind of tough act to follow, you know? Yeah. Imagine being the boyfriend after after him. I mean, say it. Well, then I'll just say that you love me. Yeah, do it. Oh, glasses off time, baby. Yeah, let's go, let's go. I got chills, I got chills. What the heck? Was that kiss really so magical? What did you do? Is she forgetting everything? Oh, him again. Oh, Clark, Clark, you gotta stop being threatened every time the guy's name's mentioned. Oh, she's, yeah, okay, so he like wiped her memory to, to save her, basically, to keep her safe. Well, let's see what trouble I can get into today. Oh, that's so sad though. What the heck? Why are we ending on a, on a note like this? Funny. Never seen garbage eat garbage before. Oh, round two, baby. This diner doesn't deserve this. Come on, let everyone just eat their dinners in peace. He's like, I gotta have some steel now, baby. <laughs> America, Superman is America. Oh my god, he's putting- he's like fixing the White House. Yeah! Oh, flying in the sunset. Coming soon, Superman 3. Will I watch it on my channel? I really don't know. Have you ever wanted to purchase a streaming service, but the price is too costly? Oh man, I'm really sorry Baby Yoda, but I don't think we can watch Hotel for Dogs. Netflix just costs 
way too much. Don't worry, I've got the solution for you. Who said that? Introducing Gamsco, a premium subscription sharing platform where you can share the cost of streaming service with other people, ensuring that you can watch Hotel for Dogs at a fraction of the price. Oh yeah. Gamsco provides subscription models that last for many major streaming services such as Netflix, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, YouTube Premium, Spotify, and Tidal. That's cool. You will be sharing these subscriptions with five other people and everyone will have their own individual account which they can use on one device. This means that instead of paying $17.99 a month for Netflix, you will be paying $3.87. You can also purchase subscriptions for longer periods of time for up to a year. In order to purchase a subscription, all you have to do is select a desired streaming service. For me, it was Netflix and choose your subscription. From there, all you do is pay and that's it. You now have access to Netflix. But how do we access Netflix from here? Well, I'm glad you asked, Oliver. I'm very glad you asked. Accessing your new Netflix account is as easy as going for a peaceful walk on the beachfront. To access, click your profile in the top right corner and then click on subscriptions. You will be taken to a page where you can see both the email you will use and the password. As well, the website will also tell you which profile you will be using. For me, this was profile number one. Copy the email and password, open up Netflix, and paste. Ta-da! Netflix is yours and Hotel for Dogs can finally be watched for a cheap price. Yes, our dream for watching Hotel for Dogs can finally come true. Gamsco also provides private customer service which I can attest to is excellent and as well as a great refund policy. Plus, through the, using the link in the description, you can save 5% on any order using the code OLLIE. That's right, you can be paying even less using the link in the description and using code OLLIE at checkout. Well guys, are you ready to watch Hotel for Dogs? We've never been more ready for anything our entire lives. And that was my reaction to Superman 2, the 1980s action sci-fi superhero movie starring Christopher Reeve, Margot Kidder, Gene Hackman, Terrence Stamp, Sarah Douglas, and Jack O'Halloran. There was something really weird about the movie that I watched. I enjoyed Superman 2. I enjoyed Superman 2. I think Superman, the first movie, is a lot better than this one. But there was something really weird about the version of the movie that I watched. And I heard you guys in the comments, or I guess I read you guys in the comments, there were three different movies you know there was a theatrical version there was the Richard Donner cut and then there was a made for TV version I think that was like three hours long I'm not sure if that one relates to the first movie or if I forget if that one is part of the second movie the combo of movies as well but I've, I'm fairly certain there were three different versions if not two but I feel like the version I watched I thought it was a theatrical version I feel like it wasn't the theatrical version I feel like it was another version of the movie that was cut down again for the streaming service that I was watching it on. Because the movie on the streaming service says it's a theatrical version, you know, but uh, it was two hours and five minutes long. And on everything I've seen, the theatrical version is two hours and seven minutes long. So it feels like I lost two minutes of footage and that would seem about right because the movie had some really weird edits in it. I don't know if I put them in the reaction or not. I hope I did, but there were some edits that literally would cut off. There was an edit that cut off Gene Hackman as he was speaking his lines and it just faded while he was talking and then boom, faded to something else. Like the, the cuts in this movie were really strange. They felt like advertisement breaks. It felt like I was watching it on primetime TV and all of a sudden a, an advertisement for Coca-Cola was going to pop up and then play and then it was going to be three minutes of ads and I would go to the bathroom and get a snack before sitting down and continuing on with Superman. And when the ads end, like that's what the editing felt like in this. This movie felt like a made for TV movie at times, which was really weird because the first movie had this huge epic scope and you could feel the budget. But in this one, there were definitely moments where I could feel the budget, but the, the editing of this movie made it feel like a made for TV movie. Like the editing just felt a little amateurish. And that's not to say that the movie was cool. I was just very surprised by the, how the editing felt, at least in the version that I watched. And now I'm very curious to see what the Richard Donner version is like. I'm not gonna watch it recently. I will need some time to just like process this version first of all, but just like, just not think Superman for a bit. And then maybe in like a few months or something, go come back to the Richard Donner version and see if there are any differences. See if I like 
like that version more. But yeah, overall, I thought this was a decent movie. I didn't think it was a great movie. I thought it was just a good movie. Um, I know some people really like Superman 2, and some people just think it's a good movie, but I don't think this is a bad movie, and I don't think this is just like a meh movie. I think this is a good movie, but I think there are issues with it, and again, the editing, I just could not wrap my mind if this was the theatrical version like fully the theatrical version that i watched i could not wrap my mind about the editing choices like that was just really weird to me but i think there were some weird choices in this movie and i think superman it just like just as in the last movie superman had powers that he never that were never mentioned before and then he used them once and then would never mention again like the freezing ability where he blows air it freezes the truck and then he just dips off and the truck is just now covered in ice never mentioned before never Ever used again you know what I mean like he does that a quite a bit in this movie actually with just random powers and I don't know if these are powers that he actually has in the comics or if the writers are just making them up but either way it's so strange to me and they did this in the first movie too but I didn't mind it as much because they only did it like once or twice but in this movie they did it quite a few times especially in the battle at the very end of the movie with Zod and his little goonies versus Superman he did like three powers that I never knew he had and then and were just never mentioned in the movie up until that point but like they were cool powers and I don't know if they were comic powers, but even if they were comic powers, I think you would expect the powers to be introduced earlier in the movie so that they can come to play later in the movie, if you know what I mean. And yeah, I, I feel like this has just been like a lot of complaints for the past like four minutes. Like I swear I do like this movie. I think the flying scenes were really well done and I thought the music was really, really good. And I really liked the relationship between Christopher Reeve and Margot Kidder's characters. I really enjoyed their dynamic and I liked that there was a lot more time spent on the relationship aspect and also a very bittersweet ending. I don't know if Margot Kidder's Lois Lane is going to be back. It feels like just a complete ending for her character and even an ending for the Superman movies. If they had stopped the Superman movies after this one, I would have been like, okay, this is a very cool ending for the characters. It kind of reminds me of Spider-Man No Way Home if you've seen that movie. That's kind of how, if spoilers by the way for Spider-Man Home, but this is kind of how Spider-Man No Way Home ends. And so I was, I was kind of, I was kind of, uh, I kind of liked the ending as just like an ending for Superman. Superman going off to do his own thing, like becoming finally like fully becoming Superman really and then Lois Lane she's kind of safe now because she doesn't really have this connection to Superman at least not the connection that she has made during this film but yeah let's get into the reviews of this movie before I'll get into the music and then the camera work and stuff some of the things that I thought didn't work and some of the things that I thought did work with this film so 6.8 out of 10 on IMDb and 85% on Rotten Tomatoes so it seems like critics really enjoyed this movie and audiences are very mixed on this movie and I just said that earlier even in the comment section, everyone was saying that I should watch Superman 2, but everyone was saying I should watch Superman 2 for different reasons. Some people said they liked Superman 2 more than the first Superman movie. Some people said it was on par. Some people said it wasn't as good. You know, there were a lot of mixed reactions to Superman 2, the movie, but everyone was agreeing that I should watch it, you know? So it was very interesting to see. But I can understand if you don't like this movie as much, you know, it was definitely had more humor in it. The tone was less serious and everything just felt a little bit less than the first one in my opinion. The score for this movie I thought was really good. I forget the composer's name, but I mean the main theme by John Williams, the, the iconic Superman song, it plays at the start of the movie over like the, the rerun of the first movie basically, so we understand what happens if in case you've forgotten, because I guess it's been a two years since the first movie. But I mean his theme song is so good, it just gets you so like adrenaline boosted. I feel like I can become Superman, I feel like I could just jump into the sky. <laughs> start flying and stuff like that like it's just such a powerful song and it's just it's like a march i think i think you can classify it as a march it was just it's just a superb song and i'm so glad that they used it a few times in this film as well but the other songs in this movie because there was a there were a lot of like hints of the john williams score in this film and of course there has to be because he's made scores that pertain to certain characters so obviously those scores kind of have to stay with the characters but the composer in this movie can always change them a little bit to kind of maybe show character development or something or kind of set the tone for the scene using these characters themes and I thought the composer did a really good job with that there were definitely some musical scores where I was like oh this is really good when Christopher Reeve and Margot Kidder when Superman and Lois Lane were in the Fortress of Solitude together and they were walking towards the bed the score there was so magical and romantic and it was just beautiful to listen to don't like the scene itself I thought there was a little bit of an issue with but the actual music I thought was beautiful and I think the composer did a really good job following John Williams 
footsteps following John Williams' score from the first movie is definitely something that's hard to do because the first movie's score is so iconic, but I think they did a really good job with this film. The visual effects in this movie I also thought were really good. I really liked the laser beams. I liked that the laser beams, you could actually see them like, like traveling, like they weren't just like, like they weren't just light speed. You could actually see them like traveling basically. That was really cool. The flying I thought was good. I don't think the flying was as good as the first movie, but I think that's because there were a lot more still cameras and then the people would be flying rather than cameras integrated with the projection or the green screen or whatever and then Superman flying with the green screen like there were definitely moments there was this moment where Zod and his two other henchmen were flying across the desert and the camera was going super fast across the desert and then they were like obviously composed or they were comped onto the green screen of the thing going super fast but they were also going super fast but they were kind of the same speed as the camera and it looked really really good and there were also some moments where the camera would like dip and turn and sway and Superman would kind of dip and turn and sway in the same way like they kept the same technique and it looked really good but there were more shots where the camera just stood still and then people would be flying across the screen or like towards or behind the screen and it just didn't work as well because it wasn't as dynamic and so you can just kind of pick out the fakeness of it or like the actual green screen elements of the shot way more easy than if the green screen and the if the green screen and the characters and the camera are all moving kind of in the same direction at the same time. One of the things that I thought the most strange about this film, one of, actually one of the things that I really liked about this film first, and then it kind of goes into one of the things that I thought was most strange, was Superman not having his powers. That is something that is so interesting to me, and I really liked the moment where he didn't have his powers and he just got beat up. Like, that was honestly, if I had watched this as a kid, that would probably traumatize me. Like, the, this guy, he's supposed to be invincible he's supposed to be like super strong like I'd probably have looked up to him if I'd saw these in theaters as a kid and then boom he gets like his face beaten in basically and there's like blood on his face and his nose is bleeding and stuff like that like that was honestly a really sad moment and the moment where he kind of looks up and you can just see the damage on his face it's a, actually a very powerful moment for this character it's a very humbling moment for his, this character and I really liked that moment in the movie I really liked this vulnerability that Superman had in the halfway point of this film. It kind of really upped the stakes, but it was also a really good moment for his character. But that also leads me into just after that moment, or I guess maybe just before that moment. They're in the Fortress of Solitude, and Superman and Lois Lane, they go to the bed, and you know what they're gonna do on the bed, right? But I just think it's really funny that Superman chose a girl over the safety of the entire planet. Like, that just actually boggles my mind, especially I know Superman is in love with Lois and I know Lois is in love with Superman, but I don't think they've been dating that long and they just confess their, they confess their love to each other in this movie and then literally like 20 minutes later, Superman's like, I will strip away all my powers for this woman because I love her so much. And I'm like, Superman, that is a bad idea. Maybe if it was like, 10 years into the relationship or something, I'd be like, okay, you can strip your powers for her, that's fine. But like, right now, this is a very premature relationship, if you will, like you've kind of just started to say things, like you've just started to say you, I love you to each other and stuff, like maybe don't sacrifice the safety of the entire planet just for her, and I found it really funny that Zod was literally taking over the entire planet, Superman just had nothing to do with it, he had no idea what was happening because he was just in bed with Lois Lane, I just think that is so funny, and it's just like something that is just a very weird thing to happen. But yeah, I think I'm going to get into the cast now. I think that's kind of all I wanted to talk about with Superman 2 in terms of the actual movie besides the cast. I don't think there's anything else. It's just the editing that is really confusing to me and I would really like to know. I will do be, be doing some research after this review to understand if I did watch the actual theatrical version or if I watched a version of the theatrical version that the streaming service cut down in order to put on their streaming service or something. like. I I am just very unsure about it because it is it was two minutes less than the the supposed runtime of Superman 2, so I'm very, very curious. But that aside, I'm getting to the cast now. Christopher Reeve, Margot Kidder, Gene Hackman, Terrence Stamp, and Sarah 
Douglas and Jack O'Halloran as non. I'll talk about those guys. I'll just talk about Sarah Douglas and Jack O'Halloran were not in the movie that much, but when they were, they were fun. They were just fun little henchmen. They were intimidating at times. I really like Jack O'Halloran's like laser beam quest, basically, where he was trying to like laser things, and and over the course of like twenty minutes, he could do it a little better and a little better, and finally he blew up a car. That was you know that was really fun. That was really cute. I really liked them. And Ursa, I thought she was she was decent. She got slapped and then she fell and that was the end of her and I, I enjoyed that as well. Terrence Stamp is General Zod. He was really cool in this movie. Neil before uh, Neil before Zod, whatever he says. I think he says that. Like He was really cool as Zod, although I don't think, just like Luther in the first movie, I wish he did more. And that's not to say that I didn't enjoy him. I really enjoyed Luther in the first movie and I really enjoyed Luther in this movie too and he, Luther wasn't in it too much. But I wish Zod just did more. I don't know. He kind of just got to Earth and then took over Earth, and then died by Superman, you know, and Superman just, just takes his powers away, so, I don't know, I just feel like he didn't do much, like, he was intimidating, but I don't think he was as intimidating as he could have been. Gene Hackman as Lex Luthor, still a great Lex Luthor, and honestly, I haven't seen that many Lex Luthers, but he's probably my favorite Lex Luthor, I've ever seen. I mean, I've only, the only Lex Luthor I have to compare is the Jesse Eisenberg one, and that one's pretty bad, so I would, I would definitely say Gene Hackman is my favorite, but I really like his comedy and stuff, especially in the first one, he was really good, but his comedy in this one, his dynamic with every character is really, really fun, really interesting, how he's always trying to stay on one side, but then he'll switch over, like, he's not really allegiant to one side, he's just allegiant to the winning side. I really enjoy his character, and I think Gene Hackman is a great actor. Margot Kidder as Lois Lane, she was great in this movie. I love the relationship she had with Christopher Reeve's Superman, and I just really like how that relationship developed over the course of this movie. When she slapped Ursa at the end, that was super, super satisfying, and when she jumped off of the railing to jump into Niagara Falls to prove to Superman that he was Superman, like, what the heck are you doing? She definitely made some strange decisions in this movie, to say the least. The elevator one at the start as another example. Like, I don't really know what she was planning on doing there? Was she just gonna sit there and listen or was she gonna do some like ninja stuff to get up and then and then ask the, the terrorists like questions about their lives and stuff like that? Like I don't really know what she was planning on doing but Margot Kidder I think is a really good Lois Lane and I really enjoyed her in this film. And last but not least is Christopher Reeve as Superman. He is an amazing Superman. I really enjoy him. Like I enjoy Henry Cavill as Superman. I don't think Man of Steel is the greatest movie but I do enjoy Henry Cavill as Superman but I Christopher Reeve I think is a better Superman in just every aspect and he's just like the the mannerisms he has between Clark Kent and then Cal L are just super super cool although there wasn't as much Clark Kent in this movie there were definitely a big chunk of the movie where he was just Superman because he didn't have to hide from Lois Lane anymore but there still was enough Clark Kent for me to go yes I love Clark Kent because the Clark Kent like the bumbling mumbling Clark Kent is I think my favorite parts of this movie just because I know Christopher Reeve isn't like that and you know you know like the curtain has been like drawn over the actual person and stuff like that so I don't know I really like those moments and I really think that Christopher for Reeve is a great actor and also an amazing Superman. And yeah, that is my reaction and review to Superman 2, the 1980 action sci-fi superhero film. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. I don't know if I'm going to watch Superman 3 and Superman 4 on the channel yet. I probably won't just because they're not supposed to be very good and I have a lot of other movies to get to. Maybe I'll watch them on my own time, but I don't think I don't know if I will watch them on my own time either, to be honest with you, but I have really enjoyed Superman 1, and I did quite like Superman 2. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.